Does it have a cloaca or any other sort of sensitive hole? At the yeah, there, there's, there's there's kind of like a, a place where there is a like a little ramp on its back and, and some, some, of, some of the going. yeah some it of is the, the arrow hole. Uh, AC forty three. Some AC of the forty. Some of the chitin does bend into a hole, and there are two arrows it's stuck in the wall. Good to get through, you know. hmm? Need good to get through. I uh, need good. Yep. Okay, so DR, how much? 10. 10? Okay. So, uh, it's 66 plus uh, 5 with the DR already included. So, 43 damage. Okay, 3 is 95. 135, it is very, very injured. Okay, it is blood. It's also bleeding. Mm -hmm. um, What's your bleed for? Uh, bleed four. I'm then gonna shoot the dazed. Well, it's it's just sort of with, like wobbling around. I uh, will we'll shoot up up one more time. Okay. Uh, AC twenty five. Hits. Grappled. Yep. Cool. Uh, so twenty three damage after DR. Nice. Fifty and three is eight. It has two. Uh, no, twelve hit points left. Okay, and the last attack, we are going to ready a quickened true strike blunt arrow to disrupt the dread moth spell. Assuming the dread moth is going to cast a spell. Ne next round, you have to give her the dread moth. I will. I will piss him off this round. Though. <laughs> okay, shaggy demons. They can fly. <laughs> Alright, now I have to pee. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright. Uh, they're pointing underneath. The Dreadmoth says something to them in uh, their telepathic speech. These three horned ape guardian daemons can see the flying grackle and they are not they are going to cast not but one not but two but three hold monsters upon grackle Ooh. do you have protect you have protection from evil which was dispelled a while ago by oh, the by similar daemons in this fight uh, you're awful creatures you're so awful the hold monsters have dc 18 will saves yeah, not gonna happen, man. <laughs> At least you'll be paralyzed on top of a flying broom. <laughs> with, uh, with a fly check? Oh, shit. So, I have a plus 10 with a, uh, what's it called? Charmed life? Yeah, but I can only do that, I think, once around. <clears throat> well, yeah, I'd use one of them. <laughs> uh, use one on... Fuck out on the first one. Because. <laughs> Fuck knows. Alright. Uh, Undy 20. Roll them one at a time. Plus 10. I fall. Oh. <laughs> I, I, throw, I freeze. Okay, you are now paralyzed. Good stuff. Did he get that? <sighs> hmm? Oh, this whole monster. Now, I need you to roll the other two to see if those spells are still operating on you. Which spells? Uh, the other two saves. The big shaggy buttholes are hold monstering you? Hold yeah. monstering Grackle. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, sorry. <laughs> on, on, sorry. On, on Junker's turn, the arrow mantle is fleeing at top speed down the pit. Away from the source of the fear. What's the speed of the arrow mental? Perfect. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> hundred feet per. Hundred feet per round. Hundred feet running is. Hundred feet uh, perfect. Three hundred. So it it is three hundred feet down the pit. Okay, you made the second set. You failed one of them, and you and you made the last one. So you've got two hold monsters activating on you right now. Awesome. 
The hold monsters last for, I believe, eight rounds, but let me just double check that. Yep. This has been the most fun fight ever! <laughs> I'm either hanging from a wall, unconscious, <laughs> or, or, or frozen on broom. <laughs> All right, so you're paralyzed on your broom. On your broom. Let's just look at the condition paralyzed for a moment before we make a... One of them goes like this. The other one goes like this, and they see each other, and they're now jostling because uh, both of them think they got you. Which they did, but you don't need to tell them that. In fact, you can't. Which ones are jostling? Uh, these two. Okay. <laughs> a paralyzed creature is frozen in place unable to move or act a paralyzed creature effectively has a dexterity and strength score of zero and is helpless but can take purely mental actions a winged <laughs> flying creature in the air at the time becomes paralyzed cannot flap its wings and falls a paralyzed swimmer can't swim and drown uh, a, a paralyzed rider effectively can't ride the horse, so you are you are slipping from your flying broom. Same thing as last time. Uh, same thing as last time. A one means you fall off. A two means you're precariously on the edge. Three somehow you are still on. Death grip the broom. Death grip. Yeah. Uh, one, D20. No, D3. That's the opposite of a death grip. That's not Oh okay. yeah. There's a whirlwinding elemental that you might catch up with. Crackle begins to fall. Oh, you're too far for feather fall. Shit. I am. I can make. And he's under a lip. Like we can't. We can't see him yeah. on our side. Oh. Uh, I can't see him. The broom can go to its master. With a command word. Which and isn't a see. mental action, it's a command word. So you can't actually <laughs> mouth yeah, the yeah. words. It's an endless pit. How deep is it? Because this actually might matter. Uh, it's deep enough that you can probably achieve um, uh, terminal, terminal velocity. velocity. Yep. So, <laughs> you have time. You just have, yeah, shake it off. Shake it off, champ. You'll be fine. <laughs> it depends on the depth of how far it actually does the breaching between the planes. Well, he could go fly around the other plane. <laughs> I can't fly. I don't got a broom, baby. <laughs> Send it to you with the mental command. The it? agent of destruction that is the bloody bear at the bottom of the pit invites you into its bearish embrace, Grackle. Oh, uh, I think Firefox wants to redeem a hero point to re-roll the D3. It's usually D20s. It is usually D20s, but was there, could it, that, what, what other, what was the first D20 roll in this, or the last D20 roll in this? Uh, it was the three saves against the whole person. And did he, um, he two, last one. two means you auto live yep so if two of them are spent I will you're allowed to save your character it might be story save but it's basically there is a save or you could see what happens with the elemental the elemental is going to be around for three more rounds four more rounds how much fear does <laughs> So, so far I've got one hero point. I need to see a second one if you guys are going to auto-save Grackle. I'll let the stream catch up. There is an auto-save. Hey, Grackle Falls. He, he might not be in this fight, but Grackle fell down the pit, and it looks like two of these daemons are, are happy because of it. <laughs> Thank you, I 
Alistair for bringing this hobgoblin into our little group. He will be a suitable sacrifice, him and his abyssal sword. The gatekeeper to the Oino demon's lair has been satiated. All the creatures that even the agents of the apocalypse keep chained up because they are too destructive. Now we shall point this tower like a dagger into the heart of a burden. Shaggy demons. There's still a few more of them. Uh, one more. Oh, no, there's a cowardly one that's just sort of <laughs> flying around out here. He doesn't... He wants to stay alive. <laughs> they can't expect anything from me. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> He's looking in. All right, this one really doesn't like the the uh, the rats. The rats don't like them either. Yeah. You know. All right, we've... We've got a bleeding, still conscious Pisco demon that can tell us about things. Um, I think it's just going to dispel a random spell on Ghost. No, it's not. It's a fail. Uh, tenth level caster. Okay. Can it do it spell it spell on Ghost? So your highest level, highest level spell is probably a fifth? Uh, I have fourth? a... I think... Oh, I like cloak. Okay, your cloak. Yeah, I like cloak. <laughs> did, it, did it do it defensively or? Uh, this one. Oh, oh, the oh, that. Oh, yeah. Nope. Hate the fire. Gonna make chandeliers out of their horns. What is Malifaid babbling about, Sister Sarah? It's not good. <laughs> Okay, Tassara scoops up Spark, and then you're grappling with that thing, so she'll move. Yeah. She's defensively looking around at what's going on. Malafont, you this has gone far enough! Oh yeah, that horn thing was trying to make you follow him, so he, he cast his spell and then moved back. Mm. Come, come, come with me and we'll play. Pin the tail on the ape thing. <laughs> it's a Sarah. Don't worry, a badden is always hungry for souls. You look different, my dear. The years have not been kind. It's the last year of your life, Mel. Bellafont. Technically, <laughs> that ship is sailed. Sorry, I'll stay out of it. This is. <laughs> Barnabas! You failed. She is alive and here. Kill her now! Actually, on the contrary, she was dead at one point. Ah, <laughs> <sighs> uh, Chugga. You can ask her. Chaga's got two channels left in the tank, but he can't do it quickened. So he's going to do one more necromancy pulse because there's still too many demons around. Just blow away some diamonds. Boom! There we go. Oof. Killing the ones that were unconscious. The Pisco Damon that was dazed, uh, 33 Ooh. damage, so <sighs> minus... That whole no SR roll thing is real nice, isn't it, when you optimize Minus yeah. 27, he kills that one outright. It just rots from inside of its shell and falls apart, and then the one in that the... That was big bleedy butthole up here. And the <laughs> one in the air, big bleedy butthole, makes his save for uh, 16... However, 168, 172 drops it to negative 2, and it is now kind of 
bubbling out of its butt as it's lowering to the ground. This is un, um, unintentional movement, so no AOO, but it ends up landing, scampering out of the way underneath Ghost and, uh, un, un, like, beside Ghost and Junker. Uh, that was Chaga doing a single burst, so that's a standard action, and then he can move. He moves to fly. To stand bravely. <laughs> Ooh. Over here. Barnabas, do you, do you understand what's going on here? Yeah, it's very bad. <laughs> you must stop him. <laughs> Where's Crackle? Crackle? Let's not dwell on the negative. <laughs> Who knew? Hey. Hey, is that... Is that Alistair? You idiots. <laughs> he points a finger at Tassara. Apparently, Tassara is too much of a target for, for uh, yeah, Malathont. Because yeah. he encant words. He is encanting words from underneath his... shot in the face. Underneath his horrible cowl. Face shot. Boom. <laughs> All right. AC 44. Yeah. And you ignore all concealment, don't you? I certainly do. Okay, his ooky cowl may have had some displacement to it, or um, concealment. Does he like cold and or fire? Ah, he's immune to cold, and fire in the quantities that you have does not affect him. Okay, does uh, I do magic, adamant? I do adamantine, silver, cold iron, magic, and bludgeoning. Okay, that gets through his DR. Perfect. Uh, he, is he an evil outsider? No. Okay. All right. So one d six plus uh, eight plus four uh, plus two. Eighteen damage. Whap. Caster level twenty eight plus spell level. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. He's still pointed at Tisara. <laughs> 28 plus spell level, right? Yep. So cast level 34. And I'm out of my Ring of Wizardry true strikes. Now I have to go to my normal true strike. <laughs> he gets a 35. Are you kidding me? Oh, that's so unfortunate. Let me just, let me, one second, one second. I don't think I've got any. I don't think I missed. Like, I didn't get Weapon of Odd. Uh, and I'm using the wrong bow right now. I'm not using the Undead Bane bow. I'll swap it up. I was fighting demons. Yeah. Okay. All right. Malifant the Dreadmoth, despite being attacked by a true struck magical arrow that, that, that did hit his shoulder, um, Manages to target Tassara with not a fire spell, but a chain lightning spell. The chain lightning treats her as the first target, and then he's going to uh, arc out the targets yeah. to a number of targets, secondary targets equal to your caster level maximum 20. Within, Can you see invisible things? Actually, to my invisibility of God. So that's within good. 30 feet of the primary target, so... Uh, Spark, Los, Junker, Ghost, he can't see Mort, Chaga, I think are all getting the electricity. The primary target? Okay. Um, takes. Two lower. Reflex DC to, ha uh, to have the damage of the secondary bolts is two lower, and the secondary bolts do the same damage? Wow. Yeah, this spell changed in Pathfinder, and I don't think we've used it very frequently. Yep. 
And it doesn't chain from one person to the other. It just goes out to others. Okay, so uh, he's going to burn. Yeah, he burned one of those. All right. It's 40 electrical damage. He could have rolled better. Oof. That's a that, 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 that's, that's I'll, so, ow. I will take responsibility for that. My disruptive arrow definitely. Uh... Tassara fails. He cracks SR. What's his DC? Uh, the DC is 23. Oh, that's a big old DC he's got there. Uh, all right. 24, sorry. 24 with the chain lightning. Evade from ghost. Evade from junker. Okay. Uh, Tassara takes the full 40. Uh, the DC versus the secondary bolts is too lower, so instead of 24, it's 22. Uh, Los <coughs> makes the save, so he takes one quarter damage. He takes 10. Chaga, because he's known for his reflex saves. <laughs> <laughs> It's a plus five. Plus he, two from... Plus two, plus seven. He got a 19. Um, the DC for him is 22. No, he's going to take the 40 damage. <laughs> uh, spark. Let's see what Azad is. Azad is our immune to electricity. And uh, Junker and Ghost evaded. evaded. Okay. <laughs> he then is going to cast his um, uh, a swift action spell. Uh, and he gets all displaced. There's two of him, and then he's, he's kind of off to the... Yeah, he's, he's got displacement running. Last four. So many rounds that the fight should not be going on. <laughs> Barnabas! Your companions have taken yet the brunt of the Lich's attack. All right, let's see if we can take over this ritual. Welcome to name level. Mm -hmm. So fun, isn't it, Grackle? <laughs> <laughs> that was great fun! Yay! Okay, uh, what do I got to do? Uh, do? There is a there is a spellcraft check uh, involved in invoking the power of the tower and this chamber. Uh, the first thing you need to do is realign. Um, this place to a different plane. Okay, with a spellcraft check. I am going to use an inspiration point for this. This is one of those things I can do. Thirty-eight. Okay. Um you feel you're able to call upon the um, the ring. You grind the turn of the of the triangle, the triangled circle, mm -hmm. to a halt, and then begin to move it, aligning itself to a plane that is not Gehenna. At this point in time, you as your full round action, you need to present the. Um, he, pre he presents the uh, the codex. Okay. I can, I can give you the name if you want, but I think you know what book I'm talking about. Yeah, go ahead. And give us the it's name. the Infernal Codex, Volume 16C, penned by Greater by the Greater Devil Lord uh, Andromalic, Chancellor of Hell and Keeper of Records. You hold up the book. The books. The books pages are flapping around in the wind. 
What? What are you doing, Barnabas? I am not. <laughs> Belafont is stretching his hand towards you. Uh, he does not appear to be. Uh, uh, he, he does not appear to like what is happening. I am going to need some cover. Now, Barnabas, what have you done? You know not what you've done. You've, we've offered things to abandon, and we have not finished giving them their due. There's a shudder from the place as the stars have moved in the opposite direction. They kind of fold and move a little bit. You can see the teetering of the of the pot. I'm spending a DM point. The pot with Alistair inside falls into the pit. Bar Barnabas thinks to himself he should ask for forgiveness, but knows where he's sending it and refuses to do so because he knows who he's dealing with. There will be no asking for forgiveness in front of those people. <laughs> and as the shifting of the stars and of the planar magics that are here in between Gehenna and Hell. Alistair paralyzed inside of his cauldron disappears. That's two party members. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> there, there is this reddish uh, aura coming from the bottom of the pit. There's a flare, and there's a uh, for a brief moment, Barnabas, you're you're like etching your name in a book, and you could feel this presence, this extra knuckled hand with long with long black fingernails. It actually has a sixth digit on its hand, presses against your. Uh, uh, against the uh, the right side of your shoulder, it's it's fingernail digging into the back of your neck while it while its hands are quite clearly kind of uh, grasping at the upper side of your uh, upper side of your chest. The heavy presence of the scribe of hell is standing behind you as you are scritching your name with great pain uh, oh, in crap. into a book. <clears throat> Awesome. You have his attention, Barnabas, and you know the name that you that you have given for the that the name that is used for the scribe of hell. You have the wisdom enough. Well, do you give me a knowledge planes? I will take twenty, and add one d six. Six. So maximum that'll be uh, plus. Uh, it's plus four actually. Oh, I've been doing that wrong. So that's plus four. That'd be thirty-five, forty-one, sixty-one. Adramalik is the common name for the Chancellor of Hell and Keeper of Records. You know it would be foolish to invoke his name as someone you're trying to gain someone um, like leverage over. Mm -hmm. It would be bound to fail and likely result in your soul immediately uh, being consigned to hell. Uh, you do hear his voice. It's more like a like a demand that you just seem to know, like something fatherly as well as horrific. As he whispers into your ear, to whom, to whom do you wish to be bound? Oh. Barnabas is racking his you also know that this can work in two ways you could find a god this way but you could also try to pull a fast one and be bound to someone that you're stronger than that is what we're going to try to do. Okay. The Infernal Codex Volume 16C 
was an infernal tome penned by Aldramek that can that included passages about devils, their associations, deeds, promotions, and demotions. You have spent some time reading this book, and there are half a dozen devilish names um, uh, wandering in your head at this point in time. I need a knowledge planes, and this will be the third part of the ritual, or at least, you know, perhaps you're kind of out of it, mm -hmm. to see if you can find a true devilish name because to get even a syllable wrong might might I result in will take 20. okay and what does that give you <laughs> so you're gonna roll your tiny little baby d6. I roll my little baby my baby d6 so two so that'll give me a 58. uh sorry uh plus your int being real smart like yeah 55 uh 57 sorry okay um, you know that there is an order of warrior tieflings that serve some of the, um, the devilish lords. These would actually be, like, they were raised in hell. Um, the offspring of the offspring of the offspring of mortals mating with devils in hell and you know that there's an order of them that actually serve asmodeus and his uh divine um uh and his divine servants okay uh tiefling sounds doable like can be more powerful than a tiefling <laughs> okay you i'm gonna text you the name of one of the tieflings that you can think of and you're pretty sure that this might be manageable okay like a like a lesser mercenary from hell that has not quite achieved a name for himself but his name has been scribed here as one of a platoon or a company that that is on his way to victory <laughs> Staff Sergeant Bob of the Third <laughs> Regiment. <laughs> he uses the name uh, Eamon Woe. Okay. You, you can hear in your head the laughing of, of the devil. Um, you have now entered into a pact overseen by the uh, the scribe of hell to bind to you one named Eamon Woe, and should you survive this encounter with uh, Meliphant the Dreadmoth The verbs He is bound to correct? Mm hmm Right, the, the yeah yeah, the master, the, the blaster yeah. <laughs> it's, I'm your boss are you really? <laughs> <laughs> you sure about that? <laughs> it, it's 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 like the paladin riding the dragon. Yeah, yeah, you're. Yeah, you're, 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 you're not too sure how Eamon Will will arrive. You don't know if he'll arrive now. You hope that he would be, but um, nothing has happened so far, Barnabas. You have co-opted the the uh, the ceremony. All right. Uh, and a DM point was spent on my on my behalf there. Crackle. Wanna go to hell? <laughs> I think it's 600 feet per round is the D&D &D version of falling. So Ahmed, if... I've got a question about how do you want Grackle to be saved, but I also need to take a quick uh, bio break. So uh, take a think about it, have a discussion with your fellow players, uh, Look after the stream. I'll be right back. So to me, the question is, are you still falling into Gehenna, or are you now falling into hell? Well, or does he get hung up on the wall in some... Or something like that, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. More does the bear... Do I have to... Uh... The bear shurukens you back up the... <laughs> <laughs> 600 feet in the air. Uh, 
the do the does the webbing need to be activated by command? Uh, you well, no, you, you so you've got the web activated, so you could like bump into the wall and snag. I'm bumping the wall, like <laughs> alternately, it could be as simple as do you make your next save versus paralysis? And if yes, then you catch yourself at the bottom, right? There's two of those saves. So Just you say. got paralyzed, you got double paralyzed. I, there, I was three of them, and I, I saved against one. <laughs> I am oh, there's, there's an idea. I think he should be sent to Dominion, have a little crossover. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, buddy. You'd be new seed there. Hey, we found new stock. <laughs> <laughs> look, look at this one. <laughs> uh, Using your sword as the planner rod. Hey. Fall into the, the arms of a redeemed succubus. Hey. So, uh, how do you save this guy who's dropping down? Yeah, whether well, the thing is, his planar rod will take him to the abyss. Yeah, I don't want to go to the abyss. <laughs> his his sword comes from the abyss. Yeah. Uh, a new god to save him. There could be a god that saves you. It could be like a, a divine intervention. I uh, don't follow one of them. Any uh, of. Them. It could be. Uh, it could be a um, like a bigger, greater story arc thingy, like um, some sort of protection from, like some family protection that's on your person. Or do you want it to be some kind of thing like you're out of the fight, but when all said and done, you wake up somewhere, you have no idea how you were saved, but yeah, it's like X Y Z. Are you off in the plane somewhere yeah. and you fell through during the shift where I was going from Abaddon to hell? Uh, so is he is he somehow going to get back? Well, two two hero points are spent. So yes, you get your character back. Hmm. Your character doesn't go well. I don't have a good. I don't. No, not good. I can't think of a way other than yeah, some kind of divine intervention or perhaps well, so some demon the, does it and sends me back. Like happenstance. I you you get snagged up on a wall or your <laughs> spider climb just like you, you're just dangling there. Your your good jock strap gets caught on a, <laughs> a bit of a wall. So yeah, do you do you accidentally get flung through. into a little crack in the side of the pit and you're just kinda down there until the fighting ends and then uh Or or is it like you fall into some Or weird did did you later? want to find do you want to worship the Do you want to be a servant of the Gehenan version? Of the bear monster. Mark <laughs> said the bear shrew because you back up. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Uh, no, he's not giving into any demon. He's not following any demon. He doesn't. You know, he's not a follower of chaos. He's a follower of law. Um, and not evil. So nothing down here is interesting to him. Okay, so you're basically in some, like, the titanic forces of this place have probably caused cracking along the part part of the uh, the well, and you might just be snagged on the side of the pit. Spider the, climb is active. The, um, how many positions were shifted? Because while he was falling, the gate was shifted from one plane to another plane. Uh, the, yeah, so Gehenna is... Uh, give me a second. Gehenna is, like, very close to hell. I'm, uh, I don't have my glasses on. I'm just going to look at the poster behind me. Depends which way it was turning. Is it, like, a one-way thing? Or do it going, like... <laughs> Yeah, you have to go like. <laughs> My problem is I've got two hit points. Gehenna in second edition is neutral evil with lawful bent, so it, it actually only got shifted uh, like one really plane close. over. Yeah. Many, many probably sub layers, but it got shifted right one over. So it, it, your options are kind of hell or <laughs> bad. So. Oh. 
both suck with two hit points to go. <laughs> so you, you choosing not to is kind of the. Um. Uh, I mean, yeah, he could get back. He could get stuck inside of the wall with a web with his. Uh, okay, so complete happenstance, and you just you just being effect. You're just being washed over by the energies of the planes. And uh, the last question is: Do you have your sword or not? D three. Oh, well, yeah, because... Nope. <laughs> Not my sword. Okay. It Crap. lands. Freeze the bear. <laughs> All things considered. I would, I would like to spend a DM point for this time spent close to the ener negative energy plane has caused a skin discoloration. A leaching of... A leaching of skin tone. Okay. I'm also going to suggest that you spend another one because I only have one left and I want to save it for something. Okay. That you give him some sort of like tiefling esque power, maybe a role on the tiefling table to represent sure. like, Random tiefling power. some yeah, yeah. physiological change. Yeah. I also want to spend my last DM point to have your abyssal steel sword to have fallen into the bear's den. A poor substitute for the soul that it was demanding. hear that terminator music coming that means a giant bear like you just mean <laughs> from now on you're afraid of bears just <laughs> all right you have the entity once known as bone crusher you have his attention grackle your <laughs> soul uh, let's kill this fucking lich <laughs> Yes. All right. Meanwhile, Grackle's just, just kind of like just hanging on. It's like some webbing got caught, and, uh, caught along the side of the uh, uh, along the side of the tunnel. Waves of horrible heat and magic wafting over him is just sort of hanging on and just 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 not able to help, not able to call out for help. Mort. Oh, Mort. Hey, Slugger. How you doing? He's. We got a. Is there another one still? Or There's an the... unconscious one lying beside the. Uh, um... The unconscious bleeding one. Yeah. Yeah, we'll we'll leave that. I don't think. Uh... Great carnage. Do, does he have to squeeze to get through here? Or... No, just go ahead. It's nice and slick with the carnage. <laughs> <He's> bloody. <laughs> All right. Uh, move. Ah. How? Hello. <laughs> oh goodness. <laughs> okay, did you just move that way? Let me see what the. Hmm. Okay. See if you just set off the symbol of the symbol trap. No! He is fly. I don't know if you gotta touch it or just roll. Yeah, you don't have to see them. They're written really dickishly. Like, how are you supposed to discern this? I see it, it goes off. <laughs> Oscar 1.0 got really frustrated with those damn things. Not you saw it, it went off. Fuck off. <laughs> you found it. And? Make a save. Oh. Awesome. Start feeding it cats or whatever. No. Uh, it doesn't go off. Okay. Oh, close though. All right. Um, yeah, there was something winking along the ground in front of the place where uh, the Dread Moth had started his his ritual. Uh, now, it, it, out of curiosity, is is no, I can't. Never mind. You fly up to the Dread Moth. He is creepy as fuck. Um, you, he didn't pulse his fear aura, so you aren't running from him yet. He's still got those. 
like things on his back yeah it looks like the chains like some of them have remained and it looks like there are these two like torches that are on fire that are bubbling with the um uh with ethereal remnants of the mercury mixed with the unholy water okay, yeah he's just... bedecked in a weird way uh, that being... You could see a bunch of moths all attracted to it, and like they're all flickering around the uh, 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 the strange uh, torches he's wearing on his back. Okay. Well, that being the case, mm -hmm. uh, he's not going to quite go so close. Going to stop five feet before, and he's going to make a sunder attempt on one of those. Can he? Sure. I guess you need these, huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, 32. Fucking asshole. Uh, <laughs> says, says, says the, <laughs> I should have never trained you. <laughs> okay, so you're attacking something the Lich wants. Um, he does have displacement up, so it's a 50 50. Uh, 1d2. Uh, he gets away. Okay. He... What? That's all it says to you. Okay. Uh, the day's lobster daemon is dying. This bleeding. thing's bleeding. For. Yeah. So it's just bleeding all over the place. And that's it. Defend your masters! <laughs> <laughs> these shaggy ape things. Uh, Alistair. I'm going to remove him from the initiative. All together. He will never be heard from again. Ever again. Problem solved. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he is but a larvae. A larval form of what he will become. There's no way anybody could survive that fall. Mm -hmm. Junker. Uh, Junker. It's time to kill the lich. Junker pulls out the uh, uh, the undead bane bow from uh, Ghost's back. Yep. He takes Ghost bow, Ghost bow out of his hands and he sticks the undead bane bow into the hand. Here you go, my leash. And gives him a little tap tap <laughs> on the top of the head. <laughs> nice. Okay. Nice. Uh, spark. How dare you! He's still slowed. He's going to move over. And we'll send one of its beams at the dread moth. Psh, psh. Uh, AC twenty one touch of dread moth. Oh no, touch ACs. <laughs> That's a potential hit and hits, so it does d12 damage that bypasses all damage reduction. You're still here, Gaily Asata. What's he calling people? <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Lose <laughs> well, uh, Lo flies forward. The Zubies are saying things in the Zubi. They're rude. <laughs> hey, I guess I should have done this earlier, huh? He's going to cast Haste. And I think Chaga, Lose, Spark, and Mort get Haste. That will get rid of Spark's slow. That'll do. Mm -hmm. But a Lose Haste. I think I you can also get the lady really if awful. you wanted. Yeah. Uh, no, no two can be 30 feet apart. Yep. Yeah, you'll, you'll get uh, to Sarah. Uh, and Los's haste is... G Ghost is one of those slow blinks, just to... <laughs> yeah, it's just too far away. Yep. Yep. <laughs> you can stop hiding back there! <laughs> Uh, yeah, he's a six-level caster, so it won't last too long. Sorry, I gotta tick off the spell and then add it to the initiative. 
haste. All right, ghost, who is not hasted. Unhasted ghost uh, is going to spend an action to make his bow plus three undead bane. Uh, he's then going to rapid shot Malaphant the Dreadmoth. He's then going to ready to true strike disrupt a spell with the Dreadmoth casts. It is so nice to have that rat with us. Because, <laughs> all right, he made it last time. I'm going to do way more damage this time. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's the that's the plan. Um, all right, so my bow against he's an undead. Mm-hmm. Uh, so my bow is effectively a plus five bow. Um, and it, uh, so, all right, I've also got dispelled, uh, so it would be plus three on top of the base, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, uh, minus four. Okay, good. Um, so plus 20s right now. So much dispelling. AC 37. Hits, maybe. AC 33. Hits, maybe. 71. Hits. 56. And hits. Nice. So 3d6, because Undead Bane, uh, plus uh, 4 plus 4 uh, plus uh, 3 Plus four. 21 damage from the first arrow, and that's 15, uh, 4, 8, 12, 15, yeah, 15 is correct. Uh, and 27 from the second. That's significant. These were bludgeoning, too? These are, these are blunt arrows. Uh, yeah. I've yeah. only got... 55 blunt arrows remaining. <laughs> 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 uh. Alright. The Shagos. Just mark down which ones cast the hold persons. I think there are a few left. Oh, it's just this one in the back. Uh, coward. Okay. <laughs> you should start putting the treasure in a pile for us. Hey, you know what? <laughs> Maybe he's assessing the situation and providing a bard song. <laughs> All right. This shaggy horned ape monster stomps on the uh, on 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 the symbol. Oh, oh what can't. a big, what a big shaggy 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 butthole. Oh, I think it's sixty foot radius. Oh, I don't. Want, I can't see it. It's I'm way too far away. It's kind of falling it. away uh, out of it. Come on, <laughs> come on. Look at Barnabas. Barnabas, you coward. Barnabas, you coward. Okay, so this is not a symbol of death, but there are waves of racking pain that that uh, uh, are affecting people. Um. It is not affecting undead. It is not affecting demons. And it will affect up to 150 hit points of people. Starting with... The closest creatures first. Hey, Mort. How are you doing? Well, what, uh, when, oh, it doesn't affect demons. So, so Mort, affect... uh, you need to make a fortitude save, and the DC is... You got a thirty-two. That's probably good enough. I would, I would hope so. <laughs> yep. Um, Are we really gonna end this fight? Yeah, the DC is twenty-three, and the will save, I believe, negates. Oh, it's a will save. Sorry, I did. Oh, sorry, fort save. The fort save negates. Okay. Fort negates. Uh, so it moves on until it affects. Oh no! Oh, I, I... ghost! Please no! <laughs> I think, would it be would Spark get affected or? Yep, Spark, Spark is Spark next. Is um, there is a a spell resistance check that you would have had to made beforehand. He cracks Sparks. Spark makes a save. 
and makes the save, so it moves on. It's really bad that the rats are like, don't worry, Chaga, it's just a little pain. <laughs> Okay, it passes over Los because he made the trap so that it affects not undead and not demons. Well, it's a pain spell. So then it goes to Chaga. Come on, Chaga. I don't know what I want. uh, uh, (laughs) Actually, you will not make this putt. That's why I'm voting. (laughs) Come on, you big chunky guy. Just, Just take some pain. It'll be fine. Okay, and then there's Good Hope in here, plus two. There's yeah. two from Good Hope, yes. Shaga gets a 25 and makes the save. Oh, God. It moves on. Oh, no. I, I don't want to say this, but we really need Ghost to not be incapacitated with pain. <laughs> to Tassara. Tassara's got a plus 13, uh, plus 12, plus two for Good Hope. I've been fucking you. She <laughs> fails, so... She has. Is it her remaining hit points or her normal? It's her remaining hit points. So, uh, give me a second. What's her con? Her con is plus two. So, eight, ten, thirteen, hundred and thirty. Hundred and thirty minus forty nine means that she ate up 81 hit points of this thing so she is under an extreme amount of pain um she cries out in terror and pain and is at minus four to attack rolls skill checks and ability checks for an hour How much the power does the spell have left? The spell has 150 minus 81 hit points left. It's got 69 hit points left. So I wanted to have Junker <laughs> eat it. Just just willingly fail. But he's got too many hit points. So he can't. Like just so he, he steps in front to try to like like protect he's, he's the, like, the battle. <laughs> the 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 magic swerves all around him, and Ghost, you have sixty nine. I got damage. Fewer. I got. Blo- <laughs> okay, give me a fort save. The DC was high. Got forty four hit points left. Oh, it's really painful. <laughs> Ghost is oh, racked no. with pain from from nose to tip of tail. Just it's, a minus four, right? It's a minus four. Okay. Uh, it's not even a minus four to saving throws. It's to attacks and uh, checks and skill checks. I've got checks, minus but... four. It. I've got minus four to attack for pain. Minus four pain. This has been a yeah. It's been a brutal fight. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I have 44 hit points remaining. Uh, 44, so 625 hit points. So if any of you who... If you get wounded down below 25. Yep. Uh, which I think it only applies to Junker or Barnabas who haven't been affected by it. Haven't, haven't made their save. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Uh, question. Yep. Does pain need make concentration checks for casting spells? It does not say. Cool. It's just painful feeling. True strikes still on. <laughs> True strikes still on the menu, boy. <laughs> it, it, it affects checks, so I, I, it'll probably affect your concentration checks if you have to make them. But yeah. um, okay, Tasara ah, crying out in pain. She is going to bravely move forward. So is she under an effect right now? Yes. How far is she from me? She casts a heal spell to hold the charge Where and moves she? forward. So touchy. So touchy. Hastefully. She's too far. Uh, so she, normally you should be able, because she can get there in one move, you could, like in the old system, you used to be able to cast move touch. 
Cast move touch. So yeah, she could cast she move that. touch, I believe. Yeah, assuming that that action still works, so you can go touch him. Go touch his moldy behind. <laughs> I think he could do seventy-five damage if he makes a saving throw. I think he could he just. Mm. Okay, so Tassara's touch is plus twelve with all the magic, minus four. Yeah, so the the buffs plus from Bard was for Bard's song. Yeah, I, I got that's the twelve is with that. But she's got haste as well and haste is uh, AC twenty one. She hits she hits his AC touch AC which is twenty one because of the haste. That's including the penalty, and then it's the uh, displacement. She hits. Okay, buddy. Spell uh, SR? Yeah, there is SR. uh, The Lich does have some SR. You can't have SR like the Daemons do, though. You can't. Uh, You can, but... (laughs) But It's 11 plus spell level. 11 plus caster level. She fails to get through SR. She fails fails by... uh, More than four. Ah, 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 ah. Oh, boys. I'm, for the real heroes. I wonder where this pit goes, my dear. <laughs> uh, Chaga. Ah! He didn't fail. He made a save. Right? He's not in pain. No, he made a save. Yeah. If he was, then the rat wouldn't be. Uh, what, what does Chaga do? Chaga telekinetically charges Mort at Maleophant. <laughs> yeah. Smack him. <laughs> get, get him, Mort! Okay. <laughs> As you get it, raises you up and drops you down. Uh, I think you get a plus two just because it's a, like a charge. All right. Plus, I'm hasted now. 28. Plus two from the thing. AC 43. Potential hit. Nope. And you miss because of displacement. Yep. Chaka's going to trundle over to Barnabas. What you doing over here, Barnabas? <laughs> <laughs> As you're holding up this book, it's flapping around. There's energy coming from the book and going down into the pit. Like, there's clearly some effect. And the pit was all dark and uh, before when Melifont was playing with it, but it's now, like, there's gouts of flame and, like, rising heat and a, this, this belch of sulfur that has come into the room. <laughs> Malifaunt the Dreadmoth. Well, first thing we're going to do as a free action is scare a bunch of you because frog you. <laughs> show the... yeah. Just this palpable... How big is that aura? <laughs> 60 feet. It's a palpable aura of fear uh, that wafts over the room. Uh, this is only shaken for people of your hit dice, but still. Uh, morale bonuses to... Your will saves apply, and the DC of the aura is 23. All right. Uh, Chaga makes it. 15. Uh, Ghost makes it. Junker. Barnabas. Uh, What's the DC, sorry? 23. 23. Uh, Barnabas doesn't make it. Junker makes it. Okay. 20 plus... Um... Oh, hang on, I check more. Uh... Yeah. You're including your Good Hope and your Bard Song in that, right? That was included, yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh... More. What is your bonus? For... Okay. Um, Plus. Oh. Uh, Tassara yeah. makes it. Spark Ooh. also makes it. Ten. Sixteen. Twenty-six. Yeah. Okay. Mort makes it. Uh, Barnabas is going to use uh, Purging Finale on himself to remove the Shaken condition. Okay. So Bard, Bard Song's down? Bard Song's down till it's Barnabas' turn. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, that was Malifont's free action. Not bad. Could have been better.
<clears throat> okay, Malfont is going to swift action true strike. That smells like casting a spell. Can you disrupt a swift? It's a swift action. You can't. Uh... Yeah, I, I don't. I don't think you can in the old system. In the new system, it is an action. Uh, it doesn't require it, concentration. It, it... Yeah, I don't. I don't. Th I don't think so. I think it's it... just. It's too quick. The actual casting of the spell he's going to do defensively. Uh, so the first roll is his defensive roll, the DC of the. Can he screw it up? The first level spell. <laughs> No, no, no. The follow-up spell. The thing he's going to actually, the telekinesis or whatever he's going to whip off. No, it's disintegrate. He's going to try to oh. disintegrate someone. Okay, we're well. This is where I, I don't know why you would do that. Uh, the DC would be fifteen plus double spell level, which is twenty-seven. He's got a plus twenty-four. He makes it. Okay. Okay. So this you could try to interrupt. Okay. Uh, so with the true strike and the bard song gone and racked in pain, I've got a plus twenty nine to hit him. Forty three. Okay, displacement. Uh, it's true strike. Uh, true strike. Does displacement give you concealment or is it actually a displacement? It's give me a second. You're thinking of blink. Blink is the one that's uh, you actually move. Mischance. Fifty percent mischance. As if you had concealment. Concealment. Nice. Stupid spell. <laughs> <I'm a system. laughs> All right, do your damage. All right, so this is uh, plus fifteen minus two because of the uh, the bard song is no longer in the maya. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, so plus thirteen. Twenty three damage. So DC thirty three plus disintegrate. Concentration check. So okay. First 39. thing. First thing, gonna add the damage. 94 to his token. That is it. All right, DC 39. Probably just stop. <laughs> no spell. Bad, bad lich. Don't disintegrate. Okay, he's got a plus 24, so this is possible. He, he, he could do it, but we, he's not going to. He does not. You the, probably saved, I'm guessing, Barnabas. The damn, <laughs> the damn undead bane on that bow. Yeah. The thing that you guys are, no, we scour the city. <laughs> <laughs> There's an arrow in his chest. It's burning away. <sighs> hmm. That's a good round, though. Still, he still has a true strike running. He still got a true strike. He hasn't attacked anything yet. <laughs> so he could use that I next. Is his telekinesis still running? Like you could tell. Like... No, I think I think the aggressive telekinesis is uh, used uh, up I right away. I think the combat maneuver one is good. It's the, it's when you throw up human, you see him beat him. So that one is a round per level. He doesn't have any actions left. True. Unless he's True. hasted. I don't think he is. <laughs> <laughs> Unless he's hasted. <laughs> Unless he's hasted. Which Even he's if he's hasted, he doesn't have an action left. He'd have an attack. He'd have an attack. Okay, he reaches out and touches. Uh, he reaches out and touches uh, Tassara. Caressing. Yep, it's on his list. Like it, yep. it's. Uh, who's who's he caressing? Uh, he's touching Tassara. Okay. Does she have free movement? Mm. Yes, she does. Perfect. Just give her a touch. Give her a touch. Oh, she does. Give her a little grab. Give her a little snap. <laughs> Damn it! Uh, the the lady was using arcane sight and was rattling off spells. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so I'll re-roll that touch. Then she's gonna he's gonna touch somebody else, and the only one in range is Mort. So I will burn my true strike. True strike to do a touch attack on Mort. My attack bonus isn't that great. Thirty six touch. Yep. You take 14 negative energy. I don't like that. And need to make a DC 23 fortitude save versus the paralysis. Come on, Big Daddy Mort. You can do it. Big Chungus, you, can, you got this. Yeah, he's got this. He should have this. Uh... That's not this. 
Uh, you fail by one. There are fortune points in the queue. But apparently. there's a fortune point because I don't think a paralyzed Wither, Mork gets us a win here. <laughs> Wither and uh, there's a bunch of foxes like immediate. Is yeah, there's a effect. bunch. There's a bunch that I haven't like actually spent. They're just sitting there for yeah. plus twos to actually help. You feel cold. Uh, uh, climb up your leg, Mort. Malefont might also have long arms, so no problem there. Barnabas. Um. Do I have to continue what I'm doing, or...? Uh, your servant hasn't arrived yet. Um, you, you're you pretty sure staying here, just in case something goes bad. We'll say you have to spend a action point, like, one one action to continue concentrating. And I, I have to be within the alcove? Yep. Okay, um, we will... Don't, I guess we'll try. I think it's firing, son of a bitch. <laughs> he will, uh, yeah. He, uh, he, oh, he brings Bard Song back up. Okay. And uh, and he's got to concentrate, so that's about it. Oh. You could think about something. Tell us something inspiring. When does Bard Song become a move action? It was a move action. So he spent one action concentrating on his it, At seven, it becomes a move. One okay. action and then he's got one action left, so he could yep. play something or pull out something. Or... Yeah. Um... Right now there's a fiery tendril of magic going from the book down into the pit. It's clear that you are doing something. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> 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 um, is Chaga hurt? Okay. Ah, oh, shit. He's... Chaga came limping over towards you. <laughs> he's, he's not begging for I'll healing. I'll heal you in a second. <laughs> I, I, I got it. I might have to go over there and heal some of them. It's looking pretty grim. Uh, there's holy water in my coat. I still got my, my stones. Oh. These guys might need 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 some convincing. <laughs> He's talking about these ones. <laughs> there's a lot to do. Keep yeah. them from tearing me apart would be appreciated. Oh, I'll, I'll do my best. You did come down here. I'm I'm very proud of you, Barnabas. Look at what you're doing. Yes, I, I've, I've just consigned my soul to hell. Oh. Just save the world. <laughs> oh, if we believe you. That's very hopeful. It's your last action, Barnabas. <laughs> um, his last action. Uh, hey, the shit that Melifon's got going on with the best case scenario here. Like the the things attached to him are those his phylacteries or something similar to that or what the hell are they? Why are they there? Sure. Uh, fuck. And I will use my lore master take twenty knowledge arcane. No, this is knowledge. Um, religion. Religion. All right. So DC uh, forty. Fifty-five with the twenty. Somehow he's rigged the implements that helped him find death and reborn as a lich to um, uh, to make him more powerful. And when I mean more powerful, he's probably got a very large pool of temporary hit points that he can draw upon uh, to heal himself. You see, there are two torches. He's probably going to regen very quickly by expending those torch, those torch lights. Trash the pots. <laughs> Mort's Mort's instincts of smashing them were correct, and Barnabas like maybe some of the teaching has been wearing off at Mort. Like Mort's no <laughs> dummy. He's a big dumb guy, but he does have a little bit of int. <laughs> he's like a 140 IQ. Yeah, he's a, exactly. He's a, he's a big, yeah, sort of typical tech nerd guy. If you guys don't take care of the torches before you use them, you're going to be... ...spell at each torch, ready to just juice up his batteries. Oh, uh, we need to put him down. I got lots of true strikes. <laughs> All right. Crackle is in a... He's still held, maybe. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> He's got to get through two of those. Um, 
shrugging them off as he goes. Um, yeah, if Ahmed was here, I'd make Grackle roll his will saves. Well, he's currently in the bathroom, so... M Mortimer. Mort? Oh, you got flung towards him. That's why you were yeah. in his face. That's why I was so close. Yeah. yeah. Um, he will take the AOO. Bye. Because he's going to drink... Ooh. He's going to drink a true strike. Okay, Mount Elephant. Oh, this is a touch attack, so you're probably going to get... Touched. No, baby! Yeah, he's probably going to hit me. AC 17 touch. I'm going to... I'm going to double check because it's kind of possible that misses, but unlikely. You're big, you're slow, you're kind I'm of big, stupid looking. That is, that is a hit, no problem. Okay, that was the 1d8 plus 7 negative energy, 14, and then the. hit your real AC for that? And then the DC 23 fort save or be paralyzed. So that was 14 damage? Yep. What yeah, are you? You what? were hasted. You didn't. You couldn't step back. <laughs> what are you doing? Yeah. I forgot I was hasted. Because <laughs> you could have stepped back, drink the thing, and wrap the thing off. <laughs> oh, good. All right, fine. All right, you Grackle. Do about you had three rounds of two whole persons, whole monsters running on you. Uh, can I have? Two will saves. Uh, and then... Three will saves, please. All right, three rounds. Yeah, three rounds of this. So six will saves. Yep. Because there's. <clears throat> okay. I'm well, not just, gonna... just give me give me the first two, and then yeah. we can keep on going from there. Yeah. Cool. The DCs were eighteen, I believe. Mm -hmm. Oh, oops! <laughs> I've only got a plus five. <coughs> one whole person goes away. Now okay. will save. Next round is one will save. All right, Greco, you. Uh, All right. Uh, the the empty scabbard in which you once held your sword snagged onto a bit of rock along the side of this chamber. The chamber is. This pit has turned into a a a blast furnace as fires are slowly churning from down below and, and are rapidly coming up the tube. The the smell of sulfur uh, 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 snuffs you awake and your sword is now, you, you remember seeing it tumble into the darkness? You know that your sword went to the place with the angry bloody bear that was eating its own flesh to try to escape its bonds. You know that going through the, the lava coming up the tube is not the way out. And you look up and you fell 600 feet down into this, down into this tube. You can see, you can see just floating around this stick with a big bushy end kind of near the top. It's just, ah, uh, it, it's got to be within... Mm -mm 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 -mm. 300 yards. So it's in. 300 yards is... 900 feet. 900 feet. feet. Well, you can call it. <laughs> and it's starting to fly. Now, it just automatically comes to you, or is it on its way? Um, it flies to owner from 300 yards when command word spoken. All right. What's flies. its fly speed? Uh, 40. So 40 descending is 80. 80 times uh, 3 Three. is 240. It'll, the, the broom will be at you in... One, two, in the next round. Uh, yeah. Uh, um, I start climbing. Yeah, okay, so you, extra, you, you, used, you, went the, you did the command word and then you start climbing up and, yep, you, you are slowly making your way up the side of the, the chamber. Uh, scratch that. I pull out a healing cure wand. <laughs> Maybe you, you... I can cure myself once or twice before I go to the shit again. <clears throat> oh. 
You're not climbing. You're pulling it a one. How close is the lava to me? Is it like a eh, thousand feet away? There's a weird umbilical like tendril of light of reddish light that is going down into the into the heat. Because I, I I climb it like fifteen or no twenty. Twenty. I don't think I moved these. Sh I did anything with these shaggy daemons last round? So. They have this this one here. stomped on the on the thing and yeah, then and we then didn't, didn't do, do anything. anything. Okay. Ooh, can I quick draw one? Uh, it'd have to be a combat item, typically. I I, I let in the other campaign wands be quick drawn, so yes, you can Ooh. quick draw a wand. I can quick climb. <laughs> okay, so you got a wand in your hand, you're climbing up, and the and the and the broom is diving into the abyss to find you. Quick, <laughs> quick. Little a abyss, not big a abyss. Okay, some of the uh, shaggy daemons were, were jostling and pushing each other. They don't like what they see. Uh, this one's going to turn around and um, <laughs> is going to dispel magic oh, on back. Barnabas. The two over here are going to dispel magic on uh, on Dasara and on Mort. They're just re trying to get random spells. So on Barnabas... This game is really sucking the... Uh... 13th level magic. Luckily, okay. the ritual is not a 13th level caster. So what is your next highest level spell? That would be... Freedom of movement, I guess. Freedom of movement, gone. Alright. Oh, no. Tassara loses... Nothing. And Mort. Tenth. Uh, Tassara should be losing like a haste spell. Oh, Eesh. sorry. It was too low. For, a fourth level caster. Yeah. Tenth level yeah. caster on Mort. Uh, Mort got. I think that haste is gone, bud. Yeah, haste is gone. All the others look like first level spells. Yeah. yeah. Okay. See, so I didn't have a haste to do what I'm doing. <laughs> well, yeah, true. <laughs> uh, Junker. Uh, I think we didn't finish. Oh, Mort. Mort. Yeah. What is what is what is Mort doing? Uh, he he just survived his AOO and yep. is now going to true strike bash a thingy. Yep. Um, I, you know, I oh, learned. you drank your true strike, got AOO, and you're oh, you're trying to get through Malfont's uh, uh, displacement. I got it. Okay, I see what yep. you're doing. Now, the, does Melifont have combat reflexes? Why? Because I think Mort's it's a, I don't. He doesn't have Mort doesn't have improved thunder. Mort's going to provoke an AOO in a second here again. Oh, you're sundering a torch thingy. Yeah. Uh, you know, Melifont didn't didn't do that. He's you no. Know, he's Melifont the Dreadmoth. He doesn't need combat reflexes. That's uh, forty. <laughs> Melifont the butterfly over here is going to get smushed. We're going to pin him to a wall. So 59 on the Sunder attempt. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, that, that works. That's <laughs> uh, 30. Weapon. Oh, and you provoked on the drinking. Yeah. Yep. Nice. Otherwise, he'd be taking like minus 20 on the... Yep. On the yeah. yeah, minus 14 or whatever he did. Yep. Whatever the damage was. Plus 28. Uh, sorry, 2d8 plus 30. Four. Weapon of Awe, 36, uh, 38. I don't know what the hardness is, but 48 before that. This is with your Abyssal Steel or your Adamantine? This is with the Abyssal Steel. Okay, even with hardness, uh, you crush the thing and it, it kind of explodes and all the... Um, the mercury and the liquid inside is is destroyed. The thing is bent off of his back. Um, Malifont yeah, does not like that, and you've gotten rid of one of his um, <clears throat> one of his backup systems. Spark, who is not slowed. No, Junker, then Spark. Sorry. Junker. Junker is going to... Uh, 
get in the melee. Uh, no, he's not going to be melee, but he's going to move forward. Uh, he's going to move forward, and he is going to spit on the elephant, the dread moth. <laughs> Spitting on him. Uh, he's going to tag of foot. He's going to adhesive spittle and well fought the yeah. <laughs> You can, bud. Is there um, SR? No. I, I don't believe so. Give me a second. I said that very emphatically, but I'm, it's yeah, no, no SR and no rolls. It's you're just tangled now. <laughs> um, there's no roll. There's no nothing. It's, um, and he gets to make a reflex save to not be stuck to the ground. No roll. Oh. <laughs> 14, does that make it? Uh, oh. it is... No, it doesn't. <laughs> He's stuck to the ground. <laughs> uh... For six rounds. <laughs> so there's goo on the lich. Uh, <laughs> Is he entangled or? He's entangled. Uh, he's entangled automatically and then okay. he's stuck to the ground. And how do I get rid of it? A creature that is glued to the floor uh, can break free by making a DC 17 strength check or by dealing 15 points of damage to the goo with a slashing weapon. You got a flashing weapon handy there, bud? Strength <laughs> checks. <laughs> you the lich roll strength checks. You know, liches don't gain any strength when they become liches. Yeah! <laughs> he does not like it. All right. Uh... What the fuck are you doing over here? <laughs> Lois comes charging at, uh, charging at this this horned ape. Um, he's hoping the thing doesn't have any magic items. It swipes at him, can't affect him. He attacks back, and attacks. Bard song is back. Yep. Yeah, it's back. He does eleven damage after damage reduction. Sixty four. It's still on its feet, but it's very hurt. Okay. Uh, ghost. Ghost is going to move up with Junker. Yep. Now point blank shot. Uh, and he is going to uh, shoot at the Dreadmoth twice and then ready to disrupt a spell with the True Strike arrow. <laughs> uh. Uh-oh. Uh, 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 AC 20 and 21 against his entangled AC. No. Hit. That's right. <sighs> he, he can make he dodge while well, he's he, the ground. Yeah, he, 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 he crunches over a little bit and you hit some of the magic that he's got protecting himself. The Shago Demons, because they some of them did their dispels they, they, as a ready. the wrong thing. Yeah. Oh, uh, the shaggy demon doesn't like Los. Um, he stupidly attacks Los and then backs away. Los has got long arms, so it takes all of his movement to back away from him. <laughs> These shaggy demons are going to start targeting uh, Tassara. Uh, apparently Melifont has updated them what they should do. Stop being everywhere. <laughs> Eighth level magic is not enough unless one of you cast a spell on her. Yeah, the uh, good hope is gone. She's got a haste from... She's got a haste, she's got a good hope. Yeah, the haste is gone. He's got uh, a resist fire. Third level magic, not enough. Second level magic, not enough. And the one from downtown, the coward, is... Like, 
Herbert doesn't want to do it, but he does it. Seventh level magic, not enough. Okay. One of them is moving in to threaten her, though. Wary of Mort's. Smackening. Yeah, I think I think it'll move all the way up so it can uh, threaten. That'll provoke an AOL. From? From Mort. He's got very long arms, that Mort. Long arms right now. Uh, okay. <laughs> Junker's looking at this guy. Are you all right, I'll shoot you. <laughs> really? Come on! <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of following the big spaghetti noodle of uh yeah this one will fly over here and this one doesn't want to get into the room but he'll move across so he's got a better look at the battlefield Tassara racked with pain is going to uh, she cast her heal spell hmm. so it's still in her hands isn't it no, it didn't crack a star, so it did yeah, it, Oh, all right. It, it got failed. discharged into... Yeah. It's gone. How's Mort doing? Mort's still got 100 hit points. Mort has taken enough damage to knock out the rats. It still has 100 hit points. No, I take it back. He's got 89 hit points. Still impressive. Okay. She is <laughs> going to defensively cast another Searing Light... That's going to provoke on the it, shot. Yeah, yeah, it will uh, provoke on the, the shot. Moth. I feel like the Red Moth actually has an AOL left. No, he Big doesn't. Big Demon will. Yeah. Big Demon... Big oh, Demon. Just walloped her. Uh-oh. For 13 damage. Uh -oh. Which is DC 23 plus spell level, 20... Six. Uh, to be twenty nine. <clears throat> oh, sorry, steering lights the third day. Yeah. Yep. She's got a plus twenty on her. She makes hey, it. Still shooting somebody. All right, the searing light ray on the lich. Although the the searing light or like the ray still goes off because the. Uh, yep. Ah, um, hmm. oh, she misses. She misses because of the racking pain. Uh, it's a touch attack. And he's entangled. Minus two. Minus two to. Uh, and still not good enough we for need, that. We need to take our girl out to, you know, yep. stretch and practice do a thing. Uh, <laughs> yeah, and there was still an SR check, but yeah. ah, she's still racked with this horrible pain. Uh, yeah. like Like bleeding prune hands kind of pain. Um, you know, with a nice mixture of salt and lime juice mixed in. Mm -hmm. ah! And that was Tassara trying to attack the Lich with some spells. Chaga, Ooh, you want me to get rid of this one for you? You fucking think? <laughs> 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 All right, Chaga is going to use a third level mind blast. Uh, to try to bother this daemon. It does not have SR, I remember. These these ones don't. They were like, the when we first saw them, we're like, oh, watch out for the big monkey. <laughs> Squidward wasn't considered the concern. We were wrong. But Chaga learns that this thing is immune to mind of It <laughs> doesn't actually have a mind. <laughs> Oh, oh, that didn't seem to work. He will <laughs> step up to it and kind of jostle it with his shield. Like, attack me, you beast! Will he step up to it, or is he going to whip one of his uh, whip one of his telekinetic Stone. uh, stones at it? He's going to whip one of the telekinetic He'll stones. He'll still can doing that. Uh, it's a ranged attack roll. That's right. This is fine. He's big. He's, he's, he's AC. AC nineteen? Nah, it just claws against his shield. His AC is thirty three right now. Before any buffs, 
Um, I don't think he has any buffs running. Telekinetic Volley, plus 14. Hits AC 24. He does 2D... Oh, these are supposed to be good, good against the undead. Yeah, they, they so like this 1D6 does the one d six plus one damage plus one for point blank shot, and then bard song, bard song, bard song and yeah, Pickoo! ten damage, which doesn't bypass its dr. Pissing <laughs> <laughs> it off. <laughs> oh, oh, I see. Uh, he tried. He would have done 8d8 plus 8 damage to it, but it, it's not its not what it needs. Yep. Uh, Holy water work on these things? Hmm? Holy water works on these things? Probably. Hmm. Alright, Malafont in the goo. Hey, gooey Malafont. Malagoo. You know what? I think you're right with the telekinesis. It's still running. Alright, Malfont is going to defensively cast a spell. Okay, I'm going to shoot him in the, in the place where the spell casting is coming from. <clears throat> uh, this is how we do. <laughs> First, it's the... Okay. Uh, 1d20 plus. Uh, it's 17 becomes 12 becomes 32. Don't roll a 1. 42. You hit Bellafont. 36 plus 16 damage. 26 damage. So 36 plus spell level. Oh, will you stop it with that? <laughs> uh, I, I no, thought about no. it. I've considered. This is, I realize so, this so the is DC really is, happy, the DC so. is 39 for a third level spell, and I rolled 1d20 plus 24 for 39. Scroll up. Right before the bye bye. Uh, 1d20 plus 24 for 39. Well, something's happening. He's getting rid of some select spells on Tassara. Uh, I think he has to make a caster level for the entangle, being entangled condition. Which he. Mm. Okay. I think he just auto. 27? I, I think is. I think is. I think it's a moot point. Yeah. I think it, yep. it's. Yep. It's a and then he did, and then he did it defensively, so he needs another one of these suckers, which yep. is fifteen plus double spell level, which he makes with a thirty-six. Um, okay. Well, you still got to have the face. How does his face feel? Oh, 30, 26 damage. His face isn't good. He's one hundred and twenty damage. He's not, not happy. All right, <laughs> I feel good. <laughs> All right, now we have to start using pearl of powers. <laughs> He dispels 11th level magic after all that. Said homage. <laughs> Which means he gets rid of your good hope that was put on her. Mm, and not cool. the airwalk communal that he was trying to get. Because he was going to try to dump someone into the pit. <laughs> <laughs> Into the pit you go, Tassara. Uh, all right. Now he's got... So that was his two... He's got a haste attack and a... A, a, a regular a, attack. One action and yep. haste. I don't think he's like the, the kineticist prestige... Or the telekinetic prestige. Class. All right, he reaches out to touch Mort because... Of course he does. Yep, and I've been forgetting his haste plus one. Eight. Touch AC 15. Touch. Mort's big guy with no text. <laughs> Makes it. Oh, that was your fourth save? And the yeah. 11, 11 necromantic damage? Mort's starting to... 
We're starting to feel this. We're at about uh, half uh, Oh, sorry. Point. That should be D8 plus 7. Uh, 15 necromantic damage. Yeah. We're at half hit points here, guys. Uh, you know what? He's going to touch you again. He sees that you're you're starting to slow down. Touch AC 14. That hits. What is your goddamn touch AC? <laughs> It is. Oh, hang on. Uh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Minus one yeah, for size. I think size. I was looking at his flat footed. Mineral armor. Earlier. In his touch is. Uh, 50. So that one misses. Yay. Two for deflection. Two for dex. No, no. One for dodge. No, two two for deflection. Yep. I'm looking at it. It's two for deflection, uh, minus one for size. So 11. So 11. Plus two for dex, plus one for dodge, plus one for haste. The haste saved you. Yeah. Hasted. No, Ooh. wait, I'm not hasted. I, I lost the haste. It's 14. Yeah, good. Okay. I lost the haste. 13 damage and another fortitude save. All right. He needs to take a five foot step back. Yeah. Agreed. Is the so, minus two being entangled factored in? Is a good question. Yeah. And how much damage? 11? Is the, if, yeah, I wasn't adding up his bonuses properly. I was looking at somebody else, actually. Um, so, yes, that was in. Um, uh, 13, 13 damage. 13? All right. All right. All right, so he, he grabs a hold of your knee and just lets the cold of the uh, the paralysis of his touch sort of, like, drain into Mort. Mort stumbles back a little bit, and that was Melifont's turn. Barnabas. Uh, concentrates. <laughs> Even sort of slap at you a little bit. And I take a step back. Uh -oh. I know he's he's yeah still, uh, yeah he sort of looked at your collar, looked around, and went away. And he's gonna throw a, a holy water at this thing. Okay, it'll take its AOO because yeah, you're well. tossing. Yeah. Uh, it took an AOO at Chaga. Uh, you are right. It hasn't had its turn yet. Okay, so Chaga absorbed the AOO. You toss holy water at it. Uh, 20 plus. You're an alchemist, but you're real smart, so. The yep, creature has a touch AC of 10. Alright, well, I'm just going to roll it. Not roll one. <laughs> you bust, you bust a, a, a vial of holy water against one of its face horns. <laughs> I believe it's 2d4. 2d4, and then you add your int mod, I believe. Yeah. Yeah. Because you're an alchemist. You got it right in his face. Uh, oh, do I add Bard Song and stuff to that? Uh, it's Previously. a direct hit thing. Yeah. Sure. Previously, we, I don't, uh, yeah, it's fine. Uh, point blank shot gets added for sure. Yeah. Oh, uh, if you have it. I, I don't. Uh, 20. That's significant for a vial. Yep. Oh, uh, yours were better than mine. <laughs> 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 it's, making, it's making this horrible noise. It really does not like it. All right, Barnabas, uh, that was a two-action thing, I think. Yep. And you step back. And you step back. Grackle. Uh, let's see. Clear your wand, man. Keep climbing. The and yeah, keep... you keep you keep climbing. You're gonna attempt to use your wand and the and allow the the your step. ride to arrive. Yeah. Should arrive. So, my activative stuff is plus that 16. Yeah, it activates. Okay, you managed to use your wand. Eight. Yes, I have 10 points. Awesome. Uh, where's my character at? I don't know, we... we... We just chucked him. 
don't think about it as 10 hit points. Think about it as you increased your number of hit points by 400%. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah I can fight a goblin now. All right, and you're no longer... I think you're still shaken, though, right? Yeah. You're no longer paralyzed. Okay, you can see something being dragged up out of the lava. The tendril of magic. It looks like it's lifting something a little bit quicker out of the rising heat. And it looks like like maybe the silhouette of a man being raised up out of the... Uh, out of hell. Oh, shit! It's still pretty far down there, but... Uh, it's coming. Something's coming. Uh, Grackle, at the end of your turn, the broom arrives. I'll allow you to, if you want to, make a, um, uh, a DC 20 <laughs> ride, ride or fly check to quick mount your broom. Fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. Good. Okay. Good idea. <laughs> Yeah, you did it. <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> you make a call. Uh, yep. Uh, you can still see the fleeing air elemental, like like floating down. It's like doing doing circles around the fire and bobbing around. It's really afraid of the of the lich. Uh, lobster demons. I think this one is just bleeding out. Eighty-two yeah, bleed damage. Yeah. Uh, Junker. Uh, hey, this I so we're we both can't hear you, buddy. I muted myself. This one because we both got bows, and he took an ALO. So we're gonna shoot that guy with an arrow. Okay. Yeah, and you're then th we're... you're threatening him. And then we're going to uh, uh, AC. 40, I think. Pretty <laughs> hot. Uh, 1d4 plus 46 plus... Uh, plus 7. Okay. What uh, more? Apologies. Uh, he doesn't attack too much these days. Uh, what do you sundered. mean? Uh, Mort Sundered, didn't he? Yep. That was a while ago. Mort, we backed up to Grackle and then we moved forward. I missed one? Mort should be right Mort, after Mort, me. Just Mort's like should in between me. the two rats. Okay, so it's Mort's turn, is what we're saying. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Mort got hit by the Dreadmoth twice. The Dreadmoth got hit by the rats when he tried to cast a spell. Mm -hmm. All right, so Mort and then, is... and then Grackle, and then now it's Mort. Okay, so... so Mort takes a five-foot step back. Does he have long arms? Uh... We said he did, so yes. Okay, he will take two steps back. Okay. And he's going to make a sunder attempt on your stupid boss. <laughs> oh, because... No, there's no AO. No, there's no AO, because he... Ah, ah, ah! 40. Come on, hit him. Come on, two. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> His rotten face is kind of hidden under that hood, but he is not looking pleased. Uh, Can you still cry, buddy? <laughs> <laughs> you just wrench the thing down, the precious liquid flowing into the pit. Barnabas, he, this may not be a substance that he has unlimited quantities to, of. It might be like leftovers from him becoming a lich, like mm -hmm. like you were schooling Meliphant. 24 damage on the uh, on the shaggy demon, shaggy horned ape yep. monster, and then go or Junker's going to use his other two actions to put a true strike into eh, Mort's here. We're gonna Mort actually hits really goddamn hard. He's gonna feed that to Mort instead of to Junker or into, instead of Ghost. He's <laughs> <laughs> you climb half climb up Mort's body and pour a potion into his mouth. It's tangy. Um, tastes like pain. <laughs> <laughs> so 
Careful, Careful Pizarro. We don't want to get too close. We we are we are close. Victory is at hand. Uh, the Azata on your on your side. Plus at a holy word? No, I'm kidding. She <laughs> used it. <laughs> oh, little fucker. <laughs> uh, it's like, you have freedom of movement up? No? Okay. Then you're paralyzed. <laughs> she cast heal. Now, in order for her to touch Maliphant, she has to enter Maliphant Square. Uh, you could touch... She could touch uh, uh, Mort because Mort's all... No, they up. they're put down the lich. That's put down are. the lich. Uh, does Melifont have his a? Yeah, I think he does. Stupid <laughs> fly! <laughs> that little thing's hard to touch. <laughs> but he touches it by two. Uh, uh, is that including his minus two? It is. is it? Yeah. Mm. Is he using weapon finesse? No. Okay. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I mean, oh, he's too far away, I think. He does 15 negative energy to spark. She still has her death ward up. There we go. Oh, so doesn't do nothing. The paralysis, however, might. Is she immune to paralysis? Freedom. Does he have to do damage or just touch? Freedom of movement? No, no sheer freedom of movement was was brought down earlier in the fight. The was a grapple better. thing. Let's not despair if the thing fails. Just all the more that we get at the end of the... That was not a good roll. It fails. She comes flying in. He swats at it with his hand. And it lands in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It lands in this square. You mean she's falling? Yep. Uh, does she have air walk up? Nope. Walk? Nope. Weird. Okay. Uh, perception check. <laughs> 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 Spark! Ah! And thus, <laughs> baseball was invented. <laughs> We're good. <laughs> Spark is now flying. Uh, yeah, you actually see this thing. Uh, and it's holding what? a heal spell. You want to catch it. You will I'm, feel good. I'm, well, <laughs> it, it, I'm still hundreds of feet below it, so. Yeah, it's going to be at you soon. Okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, you don't know it cast a spell, so is that the way you behave when things fall towards you? <laughs> it might be good. Uh, <laughs> uh, it, it'll be noted the next time something falls towards you. All right, that was Spark's attempt. That did not go well. It could have gone better. Uh, Los is now chasing this daemon away. You might say that went optimally bad. <laughs> And I recognize it. It's a glowy thing. Uh, Los is we'll use it as a weapon. Punish, we punishing this daemon. He he's got it down to single digit hit points. Come on! Ah! Ghost. <laughs> From whence it came. By those fumes, it smells like hell. Ghost is going to no! up the haste for the folks over here. An Azata in hell. I wonder what they're going to do to it. Uh, so, Sarah Win gets a haste, Mort gets a haste, Ghost gets a haste, Junker gets a haste. Nice. Uh, and then he's going to shoot one arrow at the Melophant the Dreadmoth. The haste attack goes at the Dreadmoth, and then he's going to ready to disrupt the spell. With the strike. <laughs> damn, damn you with your ring! <laughs> I got this ring, and I made it full of true strike. <laughs> uh, all right, so um, 
because I'm not rapid shotting, I have a bigger bonus to AC 25 against you. His AC is 28 while being stuck at stuck a rude. Well, that's that's fine. I am screaming in agony. <laughs> <laughs> it hurts to move. Yep. It hurts to draw. Uh, Shaggy Damon, so you still have your ready to action. Uh, look at them all. Okay, Shaggy. Uh, How you doing? Marty, quick mm -hmm. question. Mm -hmm. Can I use... I, I can't use my master's blade, right? Because it's in a broken... You took it apart. Yeah, I have... I, I just have the blade. Wouldn't be able to wrap up the it, hand. It, no, it would be hand. an improvised weapon, so it would do... I don't know, like D6, 20 times 2 crit. But I wouldn't get my... I wouldn't be able to add my dex damage. Sure. It's, it's an improvised pokey weapon. Anything pokey? Uh, oh, his dex to damage is only with katanas. Oh, it's or only my... with katanas? Okay. So, no, that's what I'm asking. You have to have weapon focus in the weapon. Because I do, but it's broken, so... Oh, I see what you mean. Does the, this improvised weapon? No, it's not a weapon anymore. It's it's a it's Got a it. sharp piece yeah. of metal. You, you can dagger. Use. Dagger it is. Yeah, that'll that'll work. Okay, let's get through the Shaggy Damons. The Shaggy Damons gonna claw at Barnabas because he's holding up this book and there's this big umbilical cord of magic and uh, <clears throat> it's gonna have his way at Barnabas. Barnabas, it's your birthday. <laughs> I'm not enjoying my birthday. Uh, what's your AC, Barnabas? I did some. Uh, my AC. Yeah, I'm checking now. Uh, I am not hasted. Uh, so Twenty six. Okay, missed within five. Mirror image goes down. Yeah. Potential hit. How many images do you have? He will have two images left, so one D three. Okay, another image goes down, and then a fifteen is a miss. <laughs> Nothing that interrupts your concentration. This shaggy ape creature is threatened by Mort. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> It, it it actually goes oh and then and, and looks at looks at Melifont and then steps forward and is going to bull rush Tassara into the pit. Uh, does that provoke from me or only Tassara? I think that provokes from Tassara. Well or yeah, if, it if does follow sure. then that provokes from you. Okay. Now I think Bull Rush is one of the ones that bypasses freedom of movement. I think so. Uh, it's like trip and grapple that you that doesn't work. Okay, Tassara misses with her. All combat maneuver checks made to grapple fail. Okay, so it, it's just, it's not grapple. It basically slaps her over the back of the head with a clawed hand, and uh, she fails her AOO. So now it gets its CMB. She still has an airwalk up, doesn't she? She does. Yeah. Okay, good, because I can't, not, I can't catch her. <laughs> Catching the doesn't actually have a mass written down light being? Easy. Catching Lady at Turtle's Velocity. Hard. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, how much do I like her? <laughs> I've got 10 hit points. <laughs> What if you think divide by two? <laughs> Thirty-two versus her CMD of eighteen beats it by ten. So she gets she gets slapped over here. Uh, her airwalk is still in effect, <laughs> sliding along the air. Uh, Can't imagine what. <laughs> this one no, laughs. No. This one laughs and is going to cast dispel magic on her. Um, uh, uh, they still got dispel magic. Yep. On her communal airwalk, which it can now see running. Her caster level is thirteen. It dispels tenth level magic. 
and I think all of the things that are she cast herself, so that doesn't the work. That she just got. Uh, the haste she just got goes. She just away. got a haste yeah. gone now. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Uh, this one can't harm low soon as 